Hey, what's up guys? So we finally got the Galaxy Note 9 in the house. So we're gonna open it up and get the first impressions. Let's go check it out. Hey, welcome back to this channel. And if you're new and you have one of the Galaxy Note phones, consider subscribing to this channel for a weekly tech video. So let's go ahead and get in the box. So what do we got here? We got the Note 9 right here, right here. We're gonna put it on the side for now. Let's see what else we got. So. We also got the AKG uh, headphones, which we're gonna check out this out later in another video. We're gonna put this to the side for now, but that's basically what we got in the box. So let's get right in the box of the Galaxy Note 9. First thing that got my attention is that now that Samsung just decided to put the S Pen right in front. No, none of the markings like they did with the other phones. Uh, here we got the Galaxy Note 7, the actual box, and we got the box for the Galaxy Note 8. So you notice uh, they decided to go with this clean clean look which is with just with the s pen so let's dive, dive right into it so in here we actually have it's going to be the ocean blue color 128 giga gigabytes let's write that in there cut it open we got some paperwork i'll put it to the side for now right in the front we got the the phone itself let's put this to the side for now let's check out and see what else we got in the box Usual, very typical packaging. SIM card, extra SIM card. We got some of the adapters for Type-C and uh, USB. Wall brick, Type-C to USB cable. Uh, same AKG uh, headphones that we got before. Also, keep this in mind, very important. Many people usually don't know this, but what you see here, these are gonna be the extra end tips that go with the S Pen. And this is an adapter that will allow you to remove the S tip. So make sure you keep this in mind. Uh, if you, you wanna swap them out every once in a while. We also got some additional ear tips for different sizes that go with the AKG uh, earbuds. That's about it. That's it for, for the box. Let's get it to the side and let's go check out the, see what we got here in the paperwork. So ejection pin for the, so you can insert the SIM card and a micro SD card in the top. We got some more usual paperwork, terms and conditions, all your usual paperwork that you get. First impression, I mean, it is very similar to the Galaxy Note 8. I noticed that it does feel a little bit wider. I don't know that it's wider, but it does feel a little bit sharper on the edges. I don't know, I mean, it kind of kind of has a different, different feel. Let's get the back cover off. Here it is. The Galaxy Note 9. Let's power it on. While we power it on, let's check out some of the buttons. So left hand side, usual Bixby button, volume rockers, right hand side, you got your power button. So also right in the top, you got the microphone here, and you also have a slot for the micro SD card, the SIM card ejection uh, area slot. And in the bottom, again, we got the usual uh, speaker, type C uh, charging port, audio jack, excellent. Uh, we got your antennas right here. And of course, the S Pen that goes right over here. So we get this S Pen out. It is a little bit bigger compared to the pen from the Note 8. A little bit wider, not big of a difference, but I feel like I do have a little bit better grip than the, than the pen from the Note 8. But again, we're gonna have a lot more videos coming up on the, on the newer features for the pen, and we'll check it out. Also, if you have any questions on the S Pen, let me know in the comment section below. In the back, we do have, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the sticker. So in the back, we got the new positioning for the fingerprint sensor. And we got the low, uh, newer, newer camera that basically is what you're getting with the Galaxy, Galaxy S9. Again, positioning of the fingerprint sensor, I definitely, I definitely like it better. Let's skip through the initial setup real quick. All right, so we got passed through the initial setup again. It feels premium like usual, like all late, latest uh, Note phones, uh, Galaxy Samsung phones. User interface looks very similar. Again, you're not gonna get mu anything much of a difference as compared to the Galaxy Note 8. In fact, let's uh, let's compare the Galaxy Note 8. I have it right here. So as I was mentioning, it's not a huge of a difference. Uh, it does feel a little bit wider, the Note 9, and then you got the, the edges feel a little bit sharper. And on the Note 8, it feels a little bit more smoother, more rounded. In the back, again, very similar. You got just the changing of the positioning of the fingerprint sensor and the cameras, but everything else, it's about it's about the same. But we'll, we'll get a full full comparison side by side. But make sure you guys let me know what you wanna see on the Galaxy Note 9, any of the comparison videos, any, any of the features that you may be interested on. Also keep in mind that in the next few days, we're gonna have a bunch of more videos coming up with the 
cases for the Galaxy Note 9. We have a couple of companies send us out some of the cases so we can review them, so stay tuned for that. Again, if you have one of the Note phones or if you had the Note 9, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're gonna have a lot more videos coming up in the near future. Thank you for watching. Make sure you smash the like button if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you on the next one.